new questions about the ratings handed out by the Better Business Bureau. Brian Ross has been investigating allegations that the Bureau bumps up grades in exchange for cash. And Brian joins us now with this, and this is extremely disturbing. Indeed, Robin. Well, good morning. The group so well known as a consumer watchdog is now being accused of running a shakedown racket, a pay-for-play scheme, selling A grades and punishing those who don't pay. And now the Connecticut Attorney General is demanding it stop what he calls a deceptive practice. On Hollywood's biggest occasions, it's Good Morning America's own celebrity chef, Wolfgang Puck, who's chosen to prepare the big gala dinner. Yet despite his impeccable reputation, the Better Business Bureau has slammed parts of Puck's expensive food empire with grades as low as an F, which Puck says is because he won't pay them to become a member. You know, if you get to become a member, you're sure to get an A. But if you don't pay, it's very difficult to get an A. In our investigation with ABC stations across the country. I think it stinks. I think it really stinks. We heard similar complaints from businesses big and small about the Better One Business complaint. Bureau's A to F grading system. I think the whole thing is a scam. We were there as the manager of a Los Angeles antique store says she was told she had to buy a membership if she wanted to raise her grade from a C to an A. So if I if I don't pay, even though the credit's been even though the complaint's been resolved, I still have a C rating. She gave her credit card number, and the next business day, her C became an A plus. Right now, this rating system is really unworthy of consumer trust or confidence. Back to 1912. Now in its 98th year, the Better Business Bureau boasts of its reputation as a consumer watchdog. And its president denies it runs a pay-to-play scheme, saying hundreds of thousands of non-members have received a grade. You know, BBB accreditation and the BBB ratings piece uh, is not about generating money. Yet earlier this year, the terror group Hamas was listed as a member and received an A- rating. It wasn't really Hamas, it was the work of an anonymous blogger and a group of business owners out to prove a point. What did that cost uh, to get Hamas uh, an A-? minus? This A- minus grade here was $425. How did Hamas become a BBB accredited business with an A grade? Well, you know, plain and simple, we made a mistake. Lots of mistakes, and it's more than just a mistake, says the Connecticut Attorney General Richard Blumenthal, soon to be a U.S. Senator. In an official demand letter sent yesterday to the Better Business Bureau, Blumenthal called on them to stop using the grading system, which he says is potentially harmful and misleading to consumers. Because as a consumer, we look for BBB. We look oh, for absolutely. that label. You'd be surprised at who got F's, not members, and who got A's. In addition to the uh, Hamas group, there's a neo-Nazi group that got an A+, oh, a non-existent sushi restaurant. Oh, we'll have all this tonight on 2020, Robin. Just an amazing situation. It really is. It's become a telemarketing uh, tool for the better business I world. know you've been on top of this for quite some time. That's right. And breaking this. All right, yeah. Brian, thank you very much. And as you said, you can see all of Brian's report tonight on 2020, 10, 9 Central. Neo-Nazis and Hamas? Yeah. My goodness.